for book one, proposition number 14 of Euclid's Elements, if with any straight line and at a point on it, two straight lines not lying on the same side make the adjacent angles equal to two right angles, the two straight lines will be in a straight line with one another. So what this is saying is that if we have two lines, AB and DC, and that if we know that the angles contained by these lines add up to two right angles, then what we're essentially trying to prove is that the line DB is in a straight line with the line BC. So to start this proof, let's make the assumption that DB and BC are not in a straight line and that DB is actually in a straight line with some other line, which we can call BE. So let's write down that we're going to assume that DB and BE are in a straight line. And our goal is to essentially show that this assumption leads to some type of logical contradiction. So with this assumption, we can use book one proposition number 13, which says that if we have a straight line and a line coming off of it, so in this case DBE is our straight line and BA is the line coming off of it, then that the angles here will add up to two right angles. So let's write that down, that the angle ABD plus the angle ABE are equal to two right angles. And notice that since these two angles here are equal to two right angles, and these two angles here are also equal to two right angles, then we know due to common notion number one that these two angles, or these pairs of two angles, must be equal to one another. So let's write that down. So angle ABC plus angle ABD must equal angle ABD plus angle ABE. And from here we can see that each side of this equation has the angle ABD and we can use common notion number three to subtract off the angle ABD from each side. And so what we're left with is that the angle ABC is equal to the angle ABE. But if we take a look at these angles, we can notice a big problem with this. So we're saying that this angle ABE is equal to the angle ABC, but angle ABE is a smaller part of the angle ABC, so there's no way that they can be equal to each other. So this must be wrong, which leads us to conclude that our original assumption that DB and BE were in a straight line this has to be wrong as well. And since this assumption is wrong, we know that the line DB must be in a straight line with the line BC. And that ends our proof. So we can leave with QED.